Hello and welcome to today's video. So in today's video I'm going to show you how you can add your own custom background to your uh, team calls. So for, for a long time Zoom has had an advantage over Microsoft Teams. So in Zoom you could put yourself a virtual background on. Now in Teams the, the closest you could get to that was to blur your background out. But Microsoft have added the ability to, if I just jump into a call now, so we've had the ability for a while now in in Teams to go to the ellipsis button and we can now show a background effect and the default one was that we could blur the background as I've done now. But as you can see recently they've added in these virtual backgrounds that we can put in um, but there doesn't appear to be a way to add your own background so I'm going to show you a way of getting those backgrounds into Teams. Okay so first thing that you will need to do is you will need to go I'll just put this call down you'll go and search for the background that you want so all I did was I, I did a search for um, backgrounds I've just put free zoom backgrounds once you find a background that you like if you then click on it and if you save that particular background somewhere on your computer so let's get to this one I'm gonna right click save the picture and I've made a folder on my desktop called backgrounds now once you've saved the picture you'll need to go to file explorer so if I go to file explorer what you need to do is make sure that you've got the hidden items tick box ticked on the view ribbon. Now if I go to my C drive, what I'm looking for is the folder called users. From there I'm looking for the current user I'm logged on as. I'm then in there looking for app data. And then from there I'm looking for roaming. And then down here, don't go to the Microsoft Teams folder. It's actually the one above Microsoft. And then within that, there is a Teams folder. And then once you're in there, you'll see there is a folder called Background. And then finally, there's one called Uploads. Now, if you're gonna change your backgrounds quite often, as I probably will, what I've done is I've dragged that folder into my quick access area. So rather than having to go through all those steps each time, I can simply just go to the folder there and I've added in my own uh, background there already. So once you've added your background in, if you go back into Teams and the next time you go on a call, so if I now go to the ellipsis button, I'll go and get myself a background effect. You'll see the normal ones, but if I scroll down, you'll now see at the bottom, I've got a new background that I've put in. So if I select that one, and I now apply it, there we go, I'm now in the TARDIS. So that's how you add your own custom backgrounds to Microsoft Teams. Thank you for watching the video guys, um, if you like it please subscribe and give me a thumbs up, um, I plan to do two videos a week on various topics within the Microsoft Office, thank you for watching and I will see you all in the next video.